Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonfireTools.com, is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Shade Wagon, throw some shade. And by DragonfireTools.com, industrial workbenches with integrated tool storage. Ah, the infamous check engine light. In some way, shape, or form, that thing pops up on your dash, you have a problem. Maybe your engine's shaking a little bit. You could have a misfire. Welcome to this AMS Oil Tech Tip. We're talking about misfire, misfire detection, and how are we going to prevent them? First off, how does a computer even know you have a misfire? Well, it actually has a counter. What am I saying? Well, every time that crank has a pulse, bam, it fires, bam, it fires, bam, it fires. So one, two, three, four, every time it's jolting a little bit. Let's say, for example, number three is missing. Jolt one, jolt two, big old lag, four. Jolt one, jolt two, big old lag, four. It knows that lag, it can tell you have a misfire on cylinder number three. What do you wanna do about it? Well, you can run a power balance test, that's pretty cool. If you have a coil system, you can do a manual one. You just get a paper clip, stick a paper clip in there, put your ignition back together, take a test light or some way to actually ground this out. What are you doing? The electricity's lazy, it takes the path of least resistance. It's gonna go here instead of to the spark plug. So if your engine starts shaking, well, guess what? That cylinder was contributing and that's not the problem. But if you do that and there's no change, that cylinder was misfired to begin with. Better yet, let's take a look at it in action here. A power balance test, a manual one. Just put it in the coil pack wherever it is. Make sure that your car is off so you don't get shocked. Get your paper clip. Just put it in there. Make sure they're separated. And then you're going to see here, I'm just using a test light. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to send that electricity to ground. So watch the spark plug when we do that. I'll get the test light hooked up to a known good ground. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire this thing up and we're going to get some spark going there on number two. You see the spark up there? And then what we're going to do is cancel it. Spark goes away, spark comes back. Spark goes away, spark comes back. Every time that happens, that cylinder starts to shake or misfire. You know that cylinder's contributing. That's not the problem. Now, if you have a coil pack, well, you could just unplug it. Super easy, one for each cylinder. Now, if you had a scan tool, you can do a fancy test like this. We ran a power balance test. And what's happening here is I just disable the cylinder. You see it dropping out there on number one. And then I put it back, it goes away. Now, interesting on this one, if you look over there on number four, you see it's dropping out. It keeps dropping out. So we actually had a misfire on cylinder number four. It's not a good thing, Len. Fuel's getting dumped down into the engine. That's a problem when it comes to oil. It is because that fuel is ending up down in the crankcase and it's essentially thinning out the oil. So if the oil does not have the ability to deal with that and still provide protection, you could be creating some long-term wear problems in your engine. At Amsoil, we build you know, reserve protection into all the products. So that something like that happens, you're covered. Len, why not catch the problem before it happens? You may have a stuck injector. Fuel additives will do that. Exactly, it's called preventative maintenance. Make sure you're using your fuel additives to keep that from happening in the first place. So you want to keep an injector from getting stuck, you want to use our fuel additive. We've got cleaners, we've got stabilizers, we've got all kinds of different products that will maintain that fuel system to keep the problems from happening. Great idea. Prevent it before it happens. Well, whether you got a misfire or you just need some routine service, go to amsoil.com and they got you covered. Time for our PaintedAutoParts.com Motorhead of the Week. And the title goes to Tennessee's Bobby Emmert. Now, Bobby brought his 57 Chevy into the studio a few weeks ago, and I'll tell you, the thing is a beaut. Now, most folks would be happy with just one classic vehicle, but just take a look at Bobby's stable. How about this for a roll call? A 53 Willis Aero Eagle. It's a two-door hardtop with a three-piece back window. Truly a rare bird. Bobby also has a 34 Willis, a 33 Ford Victoria All-Star, Fords from 49 and 54. 1970 Impala and a car he's putting together for his grandson. It's a 1985 Jaguar XJS. Uh, it seems modern in comparison to the other cars, but hard to believe it's nearly 40 years old. Bobby says he's been building cars as a hobby for 45 years, and he told me he's planning on selling every one of them. So if you're buying, be sure to look him up. Bobby Emmert, the PaintedAutoParts.com Motorhead of the Week. If you want to be Motorhead of the Week, send us a note. Go to MotorheadGarage.tv and tell us your story. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com, so don't go anywhere.